All of you, we're going to have Tagalog lessons for today. I have some flashcards here. I don't know if you have seen this. I did some uh, flashcards tutorial with my daughter before, long, long time ago. But this time, I'm going to teach you these flashcards. We're going to study about um, about the animals in Tagalog. So I have some fl flashcards here. Let's start with cow. Cow or water buffalo. This is a water buffalo. It's like a bull type that we have a very, very popular in the Philippines. We use, farmers use this as their, as their help, helpers for their plantation. So this is our local, local bull or water buffalo in English. But in Tagalog, it is kalabaw. Kalabaw. The water buffalo is strong and hard working. Malakas at masipag ang kalabaw. So malakas is strong and masipag is hard working. There are many water buffaloes in the Philippines. Maraming kalabaw sa Pilipinas. So if you see this, this is our one of our one of the common animals we have in the Philippines. Go to the next one. This is also very common. Uh, Filipinos are, are dog lovers. So I grew up with dogs also. So my dad loved dogs and I also love dogs. So what is dog in Tagalog? That is aso. 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 Um, I have a sample here in the sentence is Fiona and Olivia have three dogs. May tatlong aso sina Fiona at Olivia. Tatlo is three, aso is dog. So they have three dogs. Do you have a dog? May aso ba kayo? May aso ba kayo? So let's move on to our third animal in Tagalog is pusa. What is pusa in English? That is cat. Let's use it in the sentence. The cat likes to play with yarn. Gusto ng pusang maglaro ng sinulid. Sinulid is yarn or thread. That's also a sinulid. And gusto means likes. Gusto. That, that's why when we say gusto kita, that means I like you. So gusto. Play in Tagalog is maglaro, maglaro. So another sentence we could use for cat is the cat is sleeping in the living room. Natutulog ang pusa sa sala. Sala is living room and natutulog is sleeping. So cat is pusa. Number four. Fourth animal we have here is bird. What is bird in Tagalog? It is ibon. Ibon. I'm going to use it in a sentence. There are a lot of birds in the park. Maraming ibon sa parke. Tagalog is maraming ibon sa parke. Marami, that is a lot. Your in Tagalog of uh, a lot is marami. And park is parke. Or you could also say pasyalan. We also use pasyalan. It's like park. means where you normally go to. Okay, another sentence is Fiona's friend has a pet bird. In Tagalog, may alagang ibon ang kaibigan ni Fiona. So, friend is kaibigan and pet is alaga. Alagang ibon. Pet bird. If it's if it's dog, alagang aso. If it's a uh, cat, alagang pusa. So that's a pet in, in Tagalog. So let's go with the next animal we have here. Number five animal is manok. It's also very common. Um, chicken in English. Tagalog is manok. Manok. Let's use it in a sentence. The chicken is noisy. Maingay ang manok. Maingay means noisy 
and manok is chicken. So let's make another sentence. The chickens are running in the yard. Tumatakbo ang mga manok sa bakuran. Tumatakbo means running. Bakuran means yard. Bakuran could also be um, yeah, yard. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about bakod. Bakod is fence, so it's not the same. Anyway, bakuran is yard in Tagalog. So let's go with the next animal. Animal is, animal number six is cow. What is cow in Tagalog? That is baka, baka, baka. Let's use it in a sentence. I saw three cows at the farm. In Tagalog, nakakita ako ng tatlong baka sa bukid. Again, three is tatlo. Nakakita means I saw. Bukid is farm. Tagalog, a farm is bukid. So, I saw three cows at the farm. And make it another sentence. Uh, there's a cow walking along the side of the road. What is that in Tagalog? It is May isang baka na lumalakad sa tabi ng daan. May isa means one or there's a cow walking along. Walking is lumalakad. In Tagalog, it is lumalakad. Sa tabi means on the side or along the side. Tabi means side. Daan means road. Daan in Tagalog. Okay? So, next animal, let's proceed with fish. Fish in Tagalog is isda. Isda. Let's use it in a sentence so it would be clearer for us, the Tagalog of fish. So, there are lots of fish in the ocean. In Tagalog, as we heard it before, a lot or lots, in Tagalog is marami. Maraming isda sa dagat. Dagat is ocean. In English, okay? Now the sentence is, Uncle Mark caught a big fish. In Tagalog is, Nakahuli ng malaking isda si Tito Mark. So, nakahuli is caught. In Tagalog is nakahuli. Big is malaki. And uncle is Tito. So, if in the Philippines they call you Tito, that means they're being polite. So, it's like, it's Uncle Mark. Or Uncle is Tito. Okay? Next and last animal we have here in our flashcard is pig. In Tagalog, it is baboy. Baboy. We also call it, when we, when we say fat, is also baboy. You know, like for example, if it's uh, fat of the, the pork... So you call it also baboy or taba. Taba is also fat. Yeah. Anyway, pig is baboy. Let's use it in a sentence. The pig is fat. Mataba ang baboy. I just said it now. It is in the sentence. So fat is mataba and pig is baboy. And another sentence is the pig eats a lot. Malakas kumain ang baboy. Malakas means... Um, uh, a lot or means uh, when you say malakas is like uh, it is it has two meanings malakas could be strong and malakas is like you have a very good appetite you know so that's why the pig uh, eats a lot boys a lot pig the pig eats a lot so that means that malakas kumain means uh, you have a good appetite it appetit in eating uh, yeah the pig the pig have a good appetite. That's why appet appetite. Malakas kumain. So malakas is could be both strong or um, you have a you have a good um, you eat a lot. Okay. So those are our animals in Tagalog lesson. We'll continue to watch the videos. I have Tagalog playlist. I have Danish playlist, and I have another random topics playlist because. You know, I don't want to discuss just one one topic in my channel. So, thanks for watching. Bye.